Hello, Good Shepherd and St. Francis and John. Happy Easter. I am Father Lin Nguyen with St. Francis and John Church. This week, we prepare with the gospel message for the sixth Sunday of Easter. A reading from the gospel according to John. Jesus said to his disciples, Whoever loves me will keep my word, and my Father will love him, and we will come to him and make our dwelling with him. Whoever does not love me does not keep my words, yet the word you hear is not mine, but that of the Father who sent me. I have told you this while I am with you. The Advocate, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, will teach you everything and remind you of all that I told you. Peace, I leave with you. My peace, I give to you. Not as the world gives do I give it to you. Do not let your hearts be troubled or afraid. You heard me tell you, I am going away and I will come back to you. If you love me, you would rejoice that I am going to the Father, for the Father is greater than I. And now I have told you this before it happens, so that when it happens, you may believe. Wow. Don't know about you, but I feel so much comfort when I hear these words from Jesus in today's gospel. In fact, I share these words of Jesus so many times when I visit the sick or accompanying those about to die. The mystery of the triune God, which Jesus reveals today, displacing the communal bond of the relationship within Godhead. This relationship often misplaces within our faith tradition. We have become so subliminal and forget the rela relational aspect of God. The intimacy of the relationship of God can refer as the lover, the beloved, and the sharing to love in the Holy Trinity. Through Christ's death and resurrection, we Christians are brought into this dynamic divine life. We have been divinized in Christ to be in love with the Father and share the union everlasting love. Because of this privilege, we are able to call God Abba, Father, as Jesus commanded us to pray. Because of the gift that Jesus assures us not to be afraid, but believe in His Word and the sharing love of the Holy Spirit. Friends, Remember to pray when you feel alone. Pray when you are in destitute. Pray when you feel rejected. Pray unceasingly, as St. Paul reminded us, for we are being loved into being, redeemed in love, and sanctified in love everlastingly. So here's some activity and discussion for your family to, call, to ponder. Jesus offers us tender words in verse 27. Do not let your hearts be troubled. With your family, discuss what keeps you from resting in God's peace right now. Conflict within Christian communities is not unusual. When, we, when have you experienced such tension? And how was it resolved? Recognizing the many lands that are in a state of war, offer petition to God. Take turns with each family member should ask God to help nations in conflict. The Ukraine is a good example. It can be as simple as asking that God to provide food or shelter to those who have lost their homes. 
after each family shares their petition, pray together the response to our psalm for the sixth Sunday of Easter. O God, let all the nations praise you. Each time you feel tension within your own hearts, remember the words that Jesus told us, do not let your hearts be troubled. God bless and see you at Mass.